What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video and as you can tell by the little sequence at the start we have something very very different today and as you'll be able to tell by the title I am finally announcing my trip. I will be heading to Vietnam, the Philippines, Indonesia, potentially one more place but I'm just going to say them three for now and today I'm going to show you exactly what I'm packing. So without any further rambling I've got my coffee right here. Hopefully don't spill it because it is still roasting and my bag is packed upstairs. So let's go and grab my bag and show you exactly what I'm taking on this amazing trip. Right, so I'll start with this. This is usually on the very bottom of my bag and it's my travel documents and the reason I'm starting with it is because it has to be blurred out because in there basically I have my travel insurance information or my passport photocopies and just photocopies of pretty much everything. So it's really important information about me so I cannot be putting it on YouTube for you guys. So that will be blurred out and I can now get rid of this from the video. Now this is my bag which I'll go into in a moment. And in theory, you can actually travel with one thing alone which is your passport. So if you want to end the video right there, you've got your passport, you can go traveling. But let's just take a dive into the bag to see exactly what I'm bringing. So this bag is the Osprey Farpoint. 55 litre as you'll be able to see. I have actually done a review on this bag which will be linked on screen right now so go and check that out and everything that I mentioned in this video that's in this bag there will be links to down below in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links so if you do click them and end up buying anything I do get a bit of a kickback from it but it doesn't actually cost you anything extra so you know if you like the channel you like the products I'm mentioning you know, use them, helps me out, and you get them for the exact same price. So it would be much appreciated, but let's just dive into what's inside this bag. Okay, so starting off, we have one of these power bank things. Now, these are really, really useful because you've got three sockets and then two USB adapters. And I'll get into travel adapters because this is actually a UK version, but you do need travel adapters, which are packed. But this is just super handy because it does mean you can literally plug one thing into the wall, and then you've got five potential outputs. So these are really, really handy to take, and I will consider getting one. You can also get them in like a bar, which is a bit easier to pack but this is the one I've got and it's just very useful. I have used this many a times whilst traveling. Now I do use Gonex packing cubes. I have mentioned them in quite a lot of videos. Again, links will be in the description to the packing cubes. These are the best purchase I've ever made purely because it just makes packing so much easier. In this packing cube, I have all my shorts, which includes two normal shorts, two swim shorts, and then I've actually missed these out, but these are just some athletic shorts, which will be going in there as well. So I take five pairs of shorts with me. In this packing cube is all my t-shirts. I actually have a dress shirt, which is like a buttoned up shirt, just if you're going to temples or you're going on a night out or anything like that, just something a bit smarter. An athletic shirt, which is the green one, and then four pairs of just regular plain black t-shirts like the one shown right now because plain t-shirts are just the best for when you're traveling, very, very easy to wash. So that is my packing cube for my shirts. Next up, as you guys know, I do like wearing hats. There's two there, and then there is the one on my head, the green one, so I will be taking three hats. I'm then also going to be wearing these. These are my joggers, so I will be traveling them because planes tend to get cold, especially the ones long haul flights that are overnight. So I will actually be wearing them, so they won't actually be in there, but for the most of the trip they will be because where I'm going, I will not need joggers because it will be that warm. Now these are the travel adapters I was on about. I've got an American one, which is used a lot in Asia. And then I've also got like this European one, which again is also used a lot in Asia. I've then got this USB one, which is an American output as well, which is pretty handy. And then I've actually just got my battery charger for my camera. I've got quite a few of these, but I'll dive into that in a bit later. I've then got a pair of slides, which tend to just fit in nicely at the bottom and a pair of shoes on the outside. So these are my like trainers, which, you know, they slide into the side of the bag quite nicely. So that's pretty much most of the bag. I've then got this travel towel. These are the best things you can invest in if you are going traveling. They're not the nicest on your body, they don't have the nicest feel, but trust me, these dry in about five minutes. So if you shower, they'll be dry probably by the time you've, you know, got changed. So they're really, really handy to take. That's my toiletry bag, which I will leave momentarily because I've got quite a few things to say on that. This is my rain cover for my bag. Really, really handy. I've barely used it. I've used it a couple of times, but it is very waterproof. So make sure you do get one of these, especially if you're going to some tropical places, because you will need it at some point. This is just actually a waterproof jacket, which I've kind of put a bobble around to make sure it's just tied up nice and securely, which, you know, 
kind of obvious why you'll need that, especially in places like Vietnam, where it can rain quite easily. I then have a sleeping bag liner. I'm yet to actually use this, but sometimes hostels aren't the nicest places to stay in. So just taking a sleeping bag liner gives you that extra layer of protection between yourself and the bed sheets. So this will probably come in handy at some point and it's very, very thin. So it's not gonna make you roasting, especially when you're in a humid climate. Now in terms of this part of the bag, this zip part, I just, as you can see, take white no-show socks. A lot of them, probably about seven of them. I've got like this buff thing, which I've basically got from running. And it's just basically to cover your mouth and neck. These are really, really good if you're on a motorbike at all, just to keep any dust and potentially pollution away from your mouth so you're not breathing it all in. And then just a basically drawstring bag. They're just kind of useful for pretty much if you're going with a day pack and you don't want to be putting liquids like suntan lotion, which I will get onto in a moment, in with your electronical stuff, you just wrap it in this and then that way if it does leak, it's not going to go very far, so they're just handy to take with you. I also take some black bin bags, just some regular black bin bags, just basically as another layer of protection for my bag if it is raining. Just put the bag cover and then the bin bags on and this bag will literally stay completely dry. So they're really useful to take. They're also good for laundry if you just want to put all your stuff in one bag. It just makes it a bit easier. Now, as I mentioned, in terms of the toiletries, I'm not going to go into great detail, but there is a few things that I do actually want to mention, which are specific to Southeast Asia, which I do recommend. The first one being some plasters and like tablets, because at the end of the day where we're traveling, it's quite common that you might get sick or you might fall over and stuff like that. So just take some kind of first aid stuff. It's only the basics, but it's what you need. So they're handy to take. Obviously take some suntan lotion because it is actually quite expensive to buy out there. So just make sure you get quite a bit of that. I've got like two or three bottles. And then the big one for me is this jungle formula. It's basically like a insect repellent spray. I may actually get another bottle of this because apparently you will use a lot of it. It's very strong though. So don't just spray it directly onto yourself. Spray it kind of in the air and then walk into it, but also have the common decency if you're in a hostel, don't just start spraying it in the dorm room, do it outside, and then that will protect you against any insects that might be out there, especially mosquitoes. A few added extras are padlocks. You will need quite a lot of these and potentially a bike lock just to lock your bag up. But I actually have four of these. These just come in really handy and they've got them kind of flexible locks. So you can kind of lock them to anything, lockers, bags, anything like that. Really, really useful. I also take some ear plugs because especially on like night trains or night buses or even just hostel dorms, it can get quite noisy overnight. So popping these in kind of does the job of just making sure that you get a good night's sleep. And then this is like an added extra, which I don't actually take, but I know quite a few people do. It's a weighing scale for your bag. You just kind of loop it around your bag and then you can see how much the bag weighs. This is actually useful in Southeast Asia because a lot of airlines actually have different regulations on what your bag can weigh if you're flying with them. So if you just want to check that it's not getting too heavy, especially if you're buying souvenirs and stuff like that, if you bought extra toiletries, it's just kind of useful just to take with you. I don't personally take it because I know my bag is really light. My bag only ever weighs about eight kilos. so. It's really, really useful to take, but I don't tend to take one, but it's a consideration if you do want to get one. And then also just to mention in this compartment, I will have underwear, but because I'm not actually going for a couple of weeks, I'm not going to pack that until just right before I go, but underwear will also go in this compartment right here. And then just like that, my bag is repacked. Really, really easy to pack, obviously doing it the way I pulled the stuff out. I've obviously been packing like that for every single trip and it just literally it packs up so, so easily. There's nothing worse than not knowing how to pack because then when you've got to repack it once you've stayed in your first hostel, you will start to panic and it will probably take you a lot longer purely because you're panicking. But that bag and the way I pack is a really, really super effective method of packing, which is why I love it. So in terms of the trip, as I mentioned, I will be going to Vietnam, the Philippines and Indonesia. If you actually want to see a packing video for the stuff that I will be taking to make the videos and photography with, so like a vlogging packing guide kind of thing for traveling, then do let me know and I'll be able to sort that out before I leave. It's actually about two weeks before I go now, two or three weeks, but obviously I wanted to get this video sorted. And the date I will actually be leaving is the 4th of March, and then you will have months and months of videos from the trip. So look forward to that. I hope you will anyway. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel for those travel vlogs, which will be coming very, very shortly. Check out my Instagram as well, obviously, because I'll be taking a lot more pictures and stuff like that. And there will be Instagram stories going up every single day of the trip. Leave a like on this video if you did find it useful and let me know any of your packing tips or anything that you do take, which is different when you are packing for travel. Thank you for watching guys. Till next time, goodbye. Bye.